Hi Aries, welcome to January 2019 and Happy New Year! Now you're off to the races in January and that's because your avatar, Mars, is in his home sign, Aries. This makes Mars very happy and it's very good for you. This is going to energize you and empower you to move forward and the universe is saying for you here in January to go after what you want. It's showtime, you're off to the races, ready, set, go, and you're out the gate and you're running in January. And that's very exciting that there's such a energetic push for you in January to move forward in your life, in your business, in your career, in any direction that you want to move forward. Very exciting. Now, we have two major eclipses here in January. And the first one is on January 5th. And for you, that brings the action to your destiny in the world, your profession in the world, your reputation in the world. And we have many planets here in Capricorn at the time of the solar eclipse. It's a new moon and you have Mercury in Capricorn. He entered on the 4th. You have Saturn in Capricorn. The Sun and the Moon are coupled together next to Saturn and right before Pluto in Capricorn. So we have five planets in Capricorn and this stellium is very powerful. I believe that the next four months in the entire year of 2019 you are setting the foundation for the next 20 years of your life here in January starting right here at this eclipse. Now doesn't mean you won't change things down the road. What it means is you're right at the beginning of a new path. You're on a new road. You're at the beginning of the new road. And it's very important what you decide for yourself here in January, February, March, April, and so on. Eclipses end things and begin things, or begin things and complete things. And this is happening for you in this area of your profession in the world, your work in the world, your career achievement. So it's going to be a very important time for all of us and wherever this eclipse is happening is where doors are opening and if you find that doors are closing, that's the hand of God. That is destiny saying you don't need this anymore in your life. You don't need to go down that path anymore. Remember now you're on a new path. You're moving in a new direction. And so if things complete for you, that's the universe nudging you down this new road. And you're ready to gallop. You know, you're the horse ready to just run down the road, which is good and exciting. And there are going to be unexpected opportunities in here for you in January. And I want for you to just grab them and run with them. So if something drops in your lap where it's a really good opportunity, Go for it, take it, it's from the universe, and it's your destiny. And go with it. This is a heavy duty eclipse. The sun is exactly coupled with Saturn on January 2nd, and it's right in here at the time of the eclipse. And then, of course, the sun will couple with Pluto uh, later in January, and it, you know it's just sitting right in there at the time of the eclipse. And you know, with this type of configuration, anything can happen at work. You know, for some of you, if you work for an organization or you work for a company, you know, you could walk in on, you know, a Monday or a Tuesday here and they could announce that, you know, we've been bought by another company or that we're all moving to, you know, the East Coast or the West Coast, depending on where you are that there could be unexpected turns of events here that happen, you know, at the eclipse 
in the area of where you work or your destiny in the world and what you're doing in the world. So anything can happen for all of us because we all have this eclipse energy to work with. Just depends on where it falls in our chart. And for you as Aries, it falls in the 10th house or your destiny in the world, your profession in the world, your career achievement in the world, your outward contribution to society in the world. For those of you that are retired, it can mean your position changes in the world. Whatever you're doing in the world, it can change at this time and very quickly. Things can happen very suddenly. Maybe a new door opens for you in an activity that you want to participate in or something you want to do. It's very significant. Saturn examines and tests whatever he touches. He is the main player here at this Capricorn new moon eclipse. He rules Capricorn and he's actually the strongest at the time of the eclipse. So Saturn's calling the shots here. <laughs> he's making the moves. And you want to use this energy to go after your goals, to go after what you want. And you are ready to work hard and it will pay off. Saturn loves to reward hard work. He loves the workaholic. <laughs> um, and so you want to be you know, very diligent at your work. Now for some of you, you could walk in and find that you're done there, that you've been moved out, that they're letting you go for some reason. And you may think, oh my gosh, this is so surprising. But if you really think about it, there were signs for months now that your time is up and that you need to move on. And when we don't listen to our intuition, and I can be guilty of it too, and we don't listen to the signs, then the outer forces come in and move us out. And it's happened to me plenty of times. <laughs> and so, you know, it's, it's just, the, you know, it doesn't matter whether we decided or they decided, you know, it needs to be done. So if you find that you're moving on from whatever you've been doing, that's another sign from the universe that you are on a new path on a new life path direction and you need to move in a new direction so be open to you know the changes that are being presented to you here in January and what they're asking of you is to you know examine you know what you're doing for work is it still where you're supposed to be is it still something that your heart is in and that is right for you and that the goals are correct for you. And there could also be like some unwelcome fallout at work too that you're just witnessing. You know what I mean? Like this, this is a very intense eclipse. And when you have Saturn and Pluto, they're like the grumpy old men of the Zodiac involved in it. You know, the poop really hits the fan. And this astrology affects everyone. Even people that don't believe in astrology or have no idea how it works, it's still affecting them because we're all under the influences of the energies. Everything is energy. And this configuration with Saturn and Pluto, which is going to come together exactly in December of 2019 on the next uh, solar eclipse in uh, Ca uh, Capricorn, excuse me. And so we're at the front, we're at the beginning of it. You know, by the end of the year, we'll be further into it and, you know, we'll, we'll see more clearly. But right here, it, it could be for all of us, we've got some sort of January surprise here from the universe of, <laughs> no, you're not going to be in that position anymore or your boss has been fired kind of thing, you know, where heads are rolling and management comes in and just says, this guy's gone, this gal is gone, and now you're in charge. And you're like, whoa. This is an unexpected opportunity I wasn't planning on, but run with it. If you get promoted, you know, into a higher position because other people are being removed, it's destiny. It is what needs to outplay. Now Uranus moves direct on the 7th. This is good news. All the planets are direct now from January 7th until March 6th when Mercury will retrograde. This is a wide window for all of us 
to move forward, to launch, start a new job, move, whatever you've been waiting on. This is your green light from the universe. January 6th through March, January 7th through March 6th, everything is in forward motion. That is the best time to act. That is the best time to start something new. That is the best time to launch, publish, produce, anything you want to do, this is the time to take action. Venus enters your uh, sister sign, Sagittarius, on the 7th. I love this because she's meeting up with Jupiter. And then uh, they'll be together at the uh, Leo total lunar eclipse. Before that, on January 13th, Jupiter is going to square Neptune. And this is kind of a big deal because Jupiter is in Sagittarius, very strong in Sag. Neptune is in Pisces, very strong in his home sign. And unlike in 2018 where they were trining because Jupiter was in Scorpio, trining Pisces, now they're squaring. And this is going to be a challenge for all of us is watching for you over promising and uh, under delivering. Now this aspect is on three times this year, January 13th, June 16th and September 21st, Jupiter is going to be challenged by Neptune. Both of them think they're right. Both of them can take us off the charts where we're in lolly Luli land and really believe in it's real. <laughs> you know, like you're, you're in a movie and you think it's real. Um, or we can just be, you know, this is the hysteria that can go like on in the stock market where people can get like really exuberant and, and just buy, buy, buy and then overextend themselves, or they can just like, oh, you know, the, the, the sky is falling, and then they sell everything and lose their money because they're just too emotional and hysterical. And so we want to watch for that January 13th, June 16th, September 21st, of where we're going over the top and where we are um, overextending ourselves now for you, Jupiter is in the area of what you believe and it has to do with your spirituality and it has to do with publishing, promoting anything about yourself, long distance travel or your business. And so you want to watch for that of over promising, over extending, over sharing. We could even overshare, you know, too much info on ourselves or, or things that don't need to be um, put out there where discretion is better. <laughs> on the other hand, it is about you aiming for the stars because you have Venus there too and Jupiter and it is in harmony with any planets you have in Aries, your sun, your moon, your rising and that's really good news. and so optimistic and positive. And I'm not saying don't be optimistic. I'm just saying be practical. Don't base decisions on emotion or hysteria. If you find yourself getting really anxious about something, that's when you want to do your homework, get the facts, and then decide for yourself as to what is right. You don't want to run with the emotions and then step back and go, wow, why did I... Why did I get caught up in that? And that way you can uh, navigate this uh, energy in a way that is uh, beneficial for you. Now we have the Leo lunar eclipse on the 21st. It's a completely different energy than the Capricorn. You know, the Capricorn is very serious, goal oriented, ambitious. And the Leo energy is about the heart and creativity and your inner child and having fun. And so the message for you, Aries, is make sure you're not taking life so serious. It's all so serious. And that you are balancing your life with your work and having some fun. So that sun steps into Aquarius on the 20th and then just hours later, we have the eclipse on the 21st of um, January. It's not even at a full degree. It's again at that 
right at the beginning of the sign, just like uh, the uh, Cancer uh, full moon was in, in December and the Gemini full moon was in November. Another message from the universe that you're right at the beginning of something. You're right at the beginning of this new path and you are to follow your heart here. Now this is a wild moon too because Uranus, who's still back in Aries um, and direct, is forming a grand square with the sun and the moon and the asteroid Pallas Athena, goddess of wisdom and truth and master strategist, is opposing Uranus and they're all forming this giant grand square with the Sun in Aquarius and the Moon in Leo, Uranus in Aries, Pallas Athena in um, Libra. And so this is a wild energy. Now it's very exciting. There's going to be this sense of urgency and there could also be some wild card thrown into the mix and it could be very surprising for you unexpected opportunity again where something just drops in your lap and you really want to grab it and run And you know, it is about making significant changes here in January. This is not just a, you know, another month here. This is a very significant month for all of us. And you're making a lot of changes. And you want to be ready for that. And there could be something you're completing at the Leo Lunar Eclipse in regards to a creative project you've been working on, something creatively that you're building towards. It could also be about love and romance where um, you're going to the next level in a relationship or maybe you're, you're done in a certain situation. I and mean, it's going to be unique for each one of you. Everybody's on their own path. And this is a general forecast. So, you know, there could be something where you decide to move out of a relationship or your partner decides to move out of the relationship. It's going to be very sudden and surprising. However, what happens at eclipses is destiny. It is the hand of Creator moving you down your path and where you need to go. And if you're moving out of one situation, that's because there's another situation waiting for you. There is another relationship waiting for you. And, you know, that's the approach you want to take is, I'm going to go with the flow. I'm not going to fight this or um, try to stay in something that the universe is encouraging me to move on from. The universe is saying, hey, Aries. I have someone better for you, or I have a better situation for you, I have a better location for you, better job for you. I've got something better for you. So don't hang on to what's familiar. Keep going. And I don't think you will, because with Mars and Aries, you've got the energy, you've got the drive, you've got the passion, and you're ready to move forward. And if you really like trust your instincts and your intuition, You'll, you'll admit that, hey, I've needed to make these changes for a while. It's just, it's all happening now here in January. When it rains, it pours. And eclipses are the most powerful transit you can experience. They bring in completions. They bring in new beginnings. And they don't mince around. You know, it's like very clear. This is done or this is beginning. And that's why we want to, you know, move with it. And, you know, there could be a tendency with you this month to just, you know, be working so hard that you're forgetting yourself in the process. You're forgetting to play and have fun. And you don't want your fire to burn out. The way you sustain your fire is to stoke it so that it doesn't burn out. And that is, you know, for you to do that, you want to be having fun, taking time for yourself every day, playing, seeing the lighter side of life having uh, activities that you really enjoy 
that make you laugh and smile. And that's what balances us. Because Saturn will have us just working, 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 and that's not balanced. It's not balanced. So for those of you available for love and open for love, it's on. And, you know, there's a beautiful Venus-Jupiter coupling together at the time of the Leo lunar eclipse on the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, you know, so right in there, you know, you could be meeting someone who's at a distance from you, or, you know, maybe you're, wor you know, working with them, or um, they're different than you, they come from a different background than you, but there's just something so right about them for you. Like there's that connection where you really feel connected to this person. And of course, that eclipse in Leo is opening the door as well in the area of romance. And that can really open things up for you too. And Venus and Jupiter are in harmonious energy flow with Mars at the time of the Leo lunar eclipse. So it could be, you know, someone that you're just really into. And then of course, as that moon moves on hours later or the next day, on the 22nd, it forms a grand fire trine with your planets in Aries and Mars in Aries, transiting Mars in Aries, Moon in Leo, Venus and Jupiter in Sag. Doesn't get any better than that. You're going to love that. You're going to really love that. You're going to really, um, things are going to be magically happening for you. And it can be in the area of relationship, it can be in the area of work. It can be financial. Venus and Jupiter coupled together is financial breakthroughs. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really extraordinary uh, what's happening here. You know, with that Uranian energy at the time of the Lyra eclipse is just pushing us like, hey, wake up, take action, get yourself out of this and uh, do it quickly for all of us or change how you're doing something. You know, change, change your strategy. All right. Capricorn is about strategy. Saturn is about strategy and it's about self-mastery. And so if you're working on your self-mastery in January, when that sun shifts into Aquarius and you're at the Leo eclipse, that's where you can really, you know, step back and have some fun and see what you're creating. But it is a test of self-mastery in here for all of us and for you it's in the area of career, what you do in the world is, you know, how are you going to handle, you know, whatever happens here in January. Now, if you own your own business, you know, there could be some surprising changes that happen or you decide, I'm going to change things. I'm going to take a whole new strategy here with my business. I'm going to take another path or another road with my business. I'm not going to stay on the path that I've been on. I need to do things differently. And that can really work out for you by um, listening and trying something new, starting something new, doing it in a new way. And for those of you coupled, this is a beautiful energy in here for you, you know, it would be wonderful if you could take a trip at the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, around that time period. You know, go, go on some road trip or jump on a plane and go somewhere. It would be absolutely fabulous for you to do something fun and creative together. And the money is going to increase when you make the changes. And, you know, you're going to see that your work pays off for you. That the work that you're putting in here in January, it's paying off. And it's going to, uh, you know, improve things for you personally and professionally, which is incredibly exciting. It really is. Spiritually, this is also a wonderful time for you to, you know, tune into your mighty I am presence, your higher self, your soul self, who you really are, and take that time to listen.
I like the early morning hours because you can see Venus on the horizon and in January you're going to be able to see Saturn on the horizon in the early morning. This is right before the sun rises. You can see Venus and you'll, you'll be able to see Saturn in January, which is pretty cool and a wonderful way to meditate on these energies to align with them so that you are going in the right direction, doing what's right for you, and taking advantage of these unexpected opportunities that are going to be happening for you all over the place this month. And, you know, if something appears on the surface, you know, as negative, that doesn't mean it's not good for you or positive, that it's opening things up for you. It may be surprising because for all of us, there's, there's definitely some surprising energies in here. However, this is a time where you can really go after your dreams and make them real. Saturn is sextiling Neptune January 31st, June 18th, and November 8th. That's really good. Where they are in harmony, they weren't when he was in Sagittarius, and it was very challenging and discouraging. But here they're sextile, which is opportunity. Making your dreams real going after your dreams, going after your goals, and building a firm foundation here in these next few months. And that is the importance of building a strong foundation for the years to come. And you can do it. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my videos. You're so rockin' awesome, Aries. And thank you for subscribing. You totally rock! And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel and it lets you know when I upload. And I'm still uh, offering the seven secrets to magical money making. It's been a wonderful program that many people are benefiting from. When you sign up for my email, you get that free gift. And very shortly, I will be announcing a series of webinars for the Wealthy Biz Masterclass, the Wealthy Biz Goddess Masterclass, and I will keep you posted and I would love to see you there. So until next time, Aries! <laughs> Unexpected opportunities! Grab them and run!